So by eating a healthy diet on a consistent basis, by taking certain vitamins and supplements on a consistent basis, you can actually start to feel better, look better. You'll see a difference at radiance in your skin. Your hair will become thicker. Uh, your nails will become stronger just by changing a few simple things in your, in your daily living. You know, having less stress by incorporating maybe yoga or meditation into your life. A lot of times you could age quicker just by the amount of stress that you have on your shoulders. So sometimes you have to figure out ways to decrease the stress in your life. 90% of the uh, illnesses caused in our lives are caused by stress. So you, stress is a huge culprit to a lot of illnesses. So you really have to figure out ways to try to make your life as simple as possible and that's like we said easier said than done but if you incorporate yoga you do 15 minutes of exercise a day these are things that reduce stress in your life and these are things that could help you along the way welcome to yourbrilliance.com i'm your host amy waterman and today our topic is living longer and feeling younger which is something of course we can all get behind but so much of anti-aging advice seems to involve expensive creams and supplement regimes. Is there any way we can hold on to our youth without poisoning ourselves with Botox or popping handfuls of pills? Well, our guest for today, Stacy Chalemi, has some ideas. Stacy has been coaching people on how to get healthier for over two decades. She's a prolific author with 20 books to her name, including The Complete Guide to Natural Healing. She's also the founder of the completeherbalguide.com, which is one of the largest natural health websites in the United States. Welcome, Stacy. Hi, how are you? Great. So you have written a book called The Ultimate Guide to Living Longer and Feeling Younger. Talk to us about that. You know, as we get older, you know, we start to see, see things decline, our energy declines. We start to get a little bit on the moody side sometimes. We're just, you know, it's like, it's hard to cope with a lot of things. Our patience level decline. We notice changes in our skin and our body. You know, a lot of things start to happen. And, you, you know, there's ways that we could actually, you know, slow down the aging process and not have to spend so much money on all these cosmetic things that are advertised on on a consistent basis. That is so true. Now, you became passionate about healthy living in your 30s, which I think is when most of us start to wake up to the fact that we're not quite where we were. What do you personally, what's your personal anti-aging regime like? Well, you know, I take a lot of vitamins and supplements. I changed my eating habits. You know, a lot of people don't realize, but what we put in our bodies plays a, a huge impact on how we feel and how we look. Uh, the, the different foods we eat, um, you know, are you know affect our skin, our energy, um, our bodies. A lot of different things that we're not aware of. So, by eating a healthy diet on a consistent basis, by taking certain vitamins and supplements on a consistent basis, you can actually start to feel better. Better, look better. You'll see a difference at radiance in your skin. Your hair will become thicker. Uh, your nails will become stronger just by changing a few simple things in your in your daily living. Okay, so of course I have to ask you, what would you recommend? What what supplements uh, and what specifically diet wise? Because there's so many diets out there. You know, I like to just um, eat healthy. I don't like to use the word diet because when people hear the word diet, they get stressed immediately. They feel like they're stuck into this certain way of eating and living and that, you know, people just don't like to be told what to eat and what to do. So basically it's just eating healthy fruits, you know, getting those antioxidants in, you know, fish, you know, getting all the, the omega-3s and different proteins, you know, protein is a big, a big thing, you know, eating the right foods, the right greens, they say the greener, the better, you know, when you see, you know, if you can incorporate a lot of fruits and vegetables into your diet, you'll see a difference in the way you feel, your energy level, your, your skin, um, you know, I also suggest vitamin D. Vitamin D is great. People, you know, they, they talk about um, spending so much money on all these different creams, but the biggest culprit about um, having wrinkles and, and aging quicker, is a lot of times our skin is dry and dry skin produces wrinkles and lines. So in order to keep our skin moist, there's uh, vitamin uh, D is very good. 
Unfortunately, a lot of us don't get enough of vitamin D from the sun, so we have to incorporate vitamin D into our, our daily diet. So vitamin D is a great vitamin to incorporate in your diet. Vitamin, uh, the B vitamins are also great. Those are great for your hair. They make your hair thicker. They, your hair grows longer, it slows down the grain process. Um, there's lots of different things that you could do. And even I always suggest, you know, having less stress by incorporating maybe yoga or meditation into your life. A lot of times you could age quicker just by the amount of stress that you have on your shoulders. So sometimes you have to figure out ways to decrease the stress in your life. And you know, it's very, it's easy to say, but very hard to do. But if we do certain things, like if we met, take 15 minutes in the morning to meditate, do a little yoga, do a little re relaxation techniques, you know, learn different ways to breathe to help decrease the stress in our lives. You'll notice that that plays a big part. 90% of the uh, illnesses caused in our lives are caused by stress. So you, stress is a huge culprit to a lot of illnesses. So you really have to figure out ways to try to make your life as simple as possible and that's like we said easier said than done but if you incorporate yoga you can do 15 minutes of exercise a day these are things that reduce stress in your life and these are things that could help you along the way I completely agree with that. I, uh, I used to do yoga on and off throughout my life, but as I've gotten older, and especially when my life became really stressful, and I have noticed mm -hmm. I've gone through quite a stressful last couple of years, and oh, my skin. <laughs> so I have done that. I've actually found out I can't go a morning without yoga, and I think what a lot of us don't realize is that 15 minutes is yeah. all you need to, I mean, sure, it's great if you have a half hour. Mm -hmm. you can just do those 15 minutes in the morning and do them right when you wake up, before the kids wake up, before everybody needs your time and attention, and it's worth setting the alarm. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. So I, I want to go back to what you were talking about with diet. Because I think, so would you say then that, that diet really is the foundation? Because that's oh. where you get all your energy and where your body's rebuilding itself from that. Definitely. You know, it, it starts with the food that we eat. Food is very important. A lot of times we incorporate vitamins and supplements because sometimes you can't get enough of uh, certain foods to actually, like for instance, um, blueberries has antioxidants in it. Antioxidants is great for your body, for your skin, for lots of different things. But you would have to eat a lot of blueberries or raspberries in order to get the amount that you need. So that's when supplements come in. But if you could change your diet and you can start eating on a healthier basis, cut out the carbs, you know, decrease those carbs, you know, focus on the on the vegetables, on the greens, on the fruits, and you know, you cut down, you know, try to, you know, if you can cut out meat or decrease a lot, most of the meat in your your daily diet that's great for the body you know focus on protein you know some people prefer to be vegans or vegetarians some people don't and if you if you eat meat in your diet chicken is great you know fish is a great um poultry you know a, a great uh, uh source of food to eat mm -hmm. along with uh chicken um you know you have to just try to you know find different ways to you know bring healthier foods into your life and you know you'll notice a difference in how you feel and i also suggest detoxation you know every once in a while every couple months you should detoxify because we don't realize how many toxins are are in our bodies and you know and your your body can't operate properly when it has all these different toxins you know a lot of the foods we eat have preservatives you know there's you know pollution in the air you know there's so many different things that our body incorporates so many different toxins on a daily basis if we can detoxify our body you know on a on a consistent level you'll see a, a difference in your energy you'll see a difference in your skin you'll see a difference in the way you feel overall your metabolism will increase Increase, you know, you, you might experience some weight loss. There's so many different things that you could do to actually feel great and feel young again. So I have to ask then what, there's so many detoxifying, you know, there's places you can go, retreats to do it, there's shakes you can take. What do you think is one of the most easiest and accessible for people who've never detoxed before? I like, um, I like doing milk thistle. Milk thistle is great for your digestive system. It cleanses out your, um, your liver. Um, it's a, it, it creates a barrier. Incre increase in fiber in your diet is another way of helping to your body detoxify. You know, they have different um, whole body cleanses that you could do that, you know, cleanse out the body. Uh, turmeric is really great. It's, a gr it's, uh, it's great for detoxation. It's great for your digestive system. It is great 
for a lot of things. And, you know, there's, there's different teas. Dandelion tea is a great tea that detoxifies the body. You know, there's lots of different resources that you could do that are really inexpensive that you could do in your own home that will detoxify your body and help your body. Fantastic. So I want to go back to skin because I think that's where, that's where we see it. We see mm-hmm. it in our energy levels, but when we look in the mirror and we see, whoa, like the bags and the eyes. Yeah. I want to know, one of the things you had said was, of course, we need uh, to make sure our skin is moister. So we maybe need to look at changing our moisturizer. Eating healthy fats, I know, is a big part of making sure your skin is, is plump and dewy as it could be. Mm-hmm. But another thing that we look at when we read the magazines and we watch the TV is we see these ads. There are so many beauty yeah. out there. And there's new ones coming out every day. What would you suggest uh, as we get older? How would you suggest our skincare regime change? You know, I, I like a lot of different masks, like avocado masks, and um, you know, using different cleanses on your face to exfoliate the skin, to get the dead skin out, and to you know, you'll see like a, especially with avocado mask, if you do, you could do that at home, really inexpensively, and um, you'll see a difference when you uh, take the mask off. You'll see a radiance in your face. Even putting lavender on your face is very relaxing, and it also helps the texture and the radiance of your skin. Um, you know, there's lots of different things that you could do to actually moisturize moisturize the skin. I love coconut oil. Coconut oil is great for your skin, for your hair, for your whole body. And it's just, uh, it's a, a great, um, you know, supplement that you could take as, you know, um, some people like I like to do every once in a while, I like to put it in my hair, keep it in my hair for five minutes and wash it out. And you'll see a difference. You'll see your, your hair will become very soft. It'll become uh, very moisturized. And like we were saying before, like biotin and B, B vitamins and B, B complex, these are great things to thicken your hair, to slow down the graying process, to, you know, help your hair even grow long. Because if you notice, sometimes when you get older, your hair doesn't grow as fast as it did when it it was younger. So, you know, if you do get a haircut and then I'll say, you know, I don't really like this haircut, you know, it doesn't look great on me. I want my long hair back. You know, it might take forever for you to grow back your hair because the the hair process, you know, tends to be slower for a lot of people. So biotin is a great, you know, um, supplement. It's, uh, it's, you know, you can buy it in the stores and and it's, uh, it helps your, your hair growth and it's great for a lot of different things. So there's one part of anti-aging we haven't talked about, but I know you know quite a lot about this. You attended Dr. Oz's sleep clinic mm-hmm. and Ariana Huffington was there. And what do you know about the role of sleep in staying, living longer and feeling younger? Sleep is very important. I know a lot, we're always on the go, go, go. You know, most people don't know how to relax. You know, you get so used to living in a, in a, in a go, go environment. Either you're at work constantly doing things, at home with the kids and taking them here and there, and you never get enough of sleep. But sleep deprivation could actually do a lot of things. It could, it, you can, you know, become very ill from not getting enough of sleep. You could, you know, you're, you're aging. You'll, you'll see bags underneath your eyes. You'll see the lines start to develop. You know, it could bring on aging very quickly quickly um, having a a lack of sleep. Sleep is very, very important for for many things. Your body renews itself when you're sleeping. You need sleep. It's a very important factor. And it's something that, you know, people uh, need. You need those eight hours of sleep. It's very vital for your health in, in many aspects. One of the things we have problems with, though, especially at this age in our lives where we're so busy, there's so much going on, is we can want the sleep. We can even lie down in that bed, but sometimes yeah. it just doesn't happen. And mm-hmm. what I've really noticed is uh, the older I get, the more of a light sleeper I become. I wake up yeah. more easily. How can we get better sleep with a few hours we have? You know, magnesium and potassium uh, are great uh, minerals that work really well. They relax the body. They make you feel sleepy. Um, You know, it's great to take at nighttime. Um, Having those two together, uh, it really helps relax the body. Lavender is also great. Uh, Some people like to put lavender on their um, arms before they go to bed, or some people put it on their pillow. You could have a diffuser. You could have the the lavender scents come out, and it's very relaxing. Even uh, myself, I like to take a lavender um, uh, salt, um, uh, Epsom salt bath sometimes at nighttime, and that will completely relax me, and you know it'll get me ready for a good night's sleep. Because as we get older, we start to produce 
less melatonin. And when that happens, um, you know, it gets harder and harder for us to fall asleep. And that's also, also some people do take melatonin you know, at nighttime, you know, to just help them, you know, um, you know, feel sleepy and start to, you know, relax them. And so they can go to sleep at night. And passion flower is also really good. You know, a lot of people, they call it the natural tranquilizer. And um, it's, uh, it's a great relaxer. And you'll you take a few drops, you could take, take it at nighttime, and you'll see a difference, you'll see yourself start to fall, fall asleep at night and have a better night's sleep. Fantastic. So these are kind of things that we know about. We know diet's important. We know sleep's important. We know taking care of our skin's important. What are some of the more unusual kind of surprising anti-aging tips that you've discovered? Well, they say vitamin E is really good um, for anti-aging, but you know, you uh, it's it's it heals the skin. It's just like aloe. Aloe is really good uh, for your skin as well, and using those uh, actually can actually help the skin and help the uh, texture of the skin. But not too much vitamin E because sometimes um, too much vitamin E isn't good for you. You know, it could cause easy bruising to the skin. But um, you know, some using vitamin E on on a once in a while basis is actually very good for the skin. It makes the skin very soft. It helps the, the healing process. You, sometimes when you get older, you get cuts, you know, it takes longer for it to heal. Mm -hmm. You put a little vitamin E, it helps it. And it also helps with the texture, dry skin. It's great for dry skin. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, a lot of people that have eczema, you know, they use vitamin E and it's, it's a great uh, resource to, to use as well. Now you actually have, you not only have uh, a number of books that, that teach uh, women and men about all these things, but you've also got a website that women can go and buy some of these products. Yes, we have um, we have a, a different uh, we have a store in our, our website that has a lot of these different products. We sell um, we have partnered with several um, uh, companies that uh, make different types of supplements. They're scientists and doctors, so everything is um, you know pure graded. It's it's uh, all all the stuff is high uh, quality uh, vitamins and supplements, and uh, they're they're very reasonably priced and they work really great on the body. Fantastic. And for those of you watching, if you want to learn more about all of Stacy's books, about the information that we've talked about today and the supplements you might want to buy, we've got a link for you. Just go to yourbrilliance.org slash Stacy. That's yourbrilliance.org slash S-T-A-C-E-Y. Stacy, thank you so much for coming oh, on to the show. And I want you. to know if there was any last message you would like to leave our viewers with. You know, some people get very discouraged as they get older, they get sad, but you know what? It's a new beginning. You know, uh, as you get older, uh, it's all a mentality. Positive thinking is the key to feeling great and feeling younger. You know, our mind controls the way we feel, the way we look. It has a, a powerful impact. So really, you know, you need to feel positive about yourself, about your, your life. And you, positive thinking is the key to feeling great, to looking great, and to living a happy, healthy, and productive life. Fantastic. And thank you out there for watching. We hope to see you again soon. Until then, let your brilliance shine.